in this video, we're going to go over a bridge with co-contraction of the calf. So into a heel raise. So we're going into a bridge. We're going to fire up the hamstrings and then we're going to do a calf raise at the same time to get the calves firing up together. Uh, they support each other really well, especially with walking. Uh, so we're just re-initiating the conversation uh, with these two muscles in a supported position. So what you're going to do is lay on your back, just like a bridge, as far as foot position, you want to kind of sample out what a bridge feels like. So if your heels are close to your butt and you feel it really strongly in the quads, I want you to walk your feet out a little bit further away until you feel it more in the calves, I mean, sorry, the glutes and the hamstrings. That's when you know you're in the right foot position to initiate your bridge. So what I want you to do, first cue is to tuck your tailbone. So the core is tight and you're going to clear the butt for about an inch or two before you come up into a calf raise. So it's not going to be very far. You're going to hold it for about five seconds before you come back down, come up. So you're going to keep the bridge the entire time unless you feel like you're not quite feeling it in the hamstrings. So go ahead and reset yourself. And ideally you want to be able to hold this bridge with the calf raise for up to 15 to 30 seconds at a time without cramping happening or just for us to slowly lose the height of the heel raise or the glute raise here. So once you get that down with one leg, of course, what we're going to do next, initiate the, toe, the uh, tailbone tuck coming up on the bridge, and then you're going to just come up on one leg, hold it again, restarting from a five second hold, take a break, come back down, retuck, clear for about an inch or two, and then come up into your heel raise. So you can see the progression there. So you start with two legs, you work up to, I know 15 to 30 seconds is a huge difference, but ideally 30 second hold, right? Before you go to single leg version of it. And then once you get that down, then we start putting your feet on an unstable surface. We'll get there in a different video, but anyway, get down the two legged bridge with the calf raise and single leg bridge with the calf raise. And then we'll talk from there. Uh, if you start to get a cramp, just get out of the position, give it a little massage just to um, get the muscle to relax before you go into the next set. 